Hey guys, so today I'm here with the next in my series of videos on how to improve your video quality. So today I'm going to be talking about how to use video editing and color correction to make your videos look better. So I have filmed two test clips for us here. So today we've got a just kind of a shot of some plants and whatnot kind of billowing in the wind. And we also have a shot of some clouds, which are guys kind of actually that's a thunderstorm starting to develop kind of neat little time lapse of the clouds uh, so let's go ahead and show you guys how I did this so uh, to start with let's just grab the clips and just do some color correction on them now color correction is going to vary where it is and you know the details and all that kind of stuff depending on your, what your video editor is but as long as it's a halfway competent editor it should have at least some form of color correction built in alright so there's a few different things that we have here so we have a, the hue uh, actually we could adjust that a little bit basically it's just kind of the overall colors of it. Uh, I'm actually going to leave that alone but you can certainly do a lot to kind of make the video pop and whatnot. But again I'm going to leave the hue alone and instead I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the contra uh, the saturation rather. Saturation is just how colorful the uh, the uh, video is. Uh, for something like this it's all green, it's all nature. Uh, we really ought to bump the saturation up. As you guys can see here it's a little, it's not horrible but it's a little bit washed out so let's, let's crank up the saturation some. Uh, one tip when you're editing your colors is small, small, small changes. Don't go grab it and drag it to 50%. You guys can see if I, you know, drag the saturation way up, it's gonna look awful. It's, yeah, I mean that that's just that's just kind of absurd. And same thing if I crank the saturation down, um, that's actually not awful. It's actually rather nice actually because you get still get some green here, but everything else is about black and white. But again, this is a kind of a nature scene, so I think having a decent amount of saturation eh, somewhere right, right about there is gonna be good. Another thing you can learn is that there's no really, there's, it's not like you can do it wrong. I mean, if you dragged everything up and down and made it look awful, yeah, it's kind of wrong. But a lot of it is just kind of in your opinion, what you think looks good. If you think, you know, it should be really dark and contrast, uh, high contrast, you want it really, really saturated and really bright. I mean, it's kind of just kind of comes down to your own judgment on what you think. Um, so let's take a look at the brightness. Uh, I think we may want to go just a bit higher on this, uh, somewhere around... Four, six, six. There we go. That looks about right. And then we can also edit the contrast. And the contrast, you guys can see if I turn it down, kind of makes it a little bit gray. Kind of brings out some more of the details, but a lot of time, uh, you, oh, as you can see, it kind of washes it out. And on the other hand, if we crank the contrast up, it will just, well, it'll just look awful. <laughs> so at this point, we're going to go ahead and do something a little bit more moderate. Uh, the video was pretty close when I shot it, so it doesn't require that much. So, you guys can see here, that's actually looking pretty good. And if I reset everything and kind of show you guys what it looked like beforehand, um, so we this is what it did look like, but after our video editing and color correction, we've got this. So I think that looks much nicer. Uh, now, something else you can do, and this is just something that's totally optional that I did, was I made it look anamorphic. So you guys can see here, I add these black bars on top and bottom, some letterboxing. Uh, basically, I did this just to make the video look a little bit more cinematic. Uh, now this works a lot better if you have a wide angle lens, if you've you know, got a nice wide shot. Um, it doesn't really do anything that great, obviously we're cut, cropping off some of the top and the bottom of the frame. Uh, but if you want to do this, it certainly will make it look a little bit more movie-like and whatnot. But of course that's totally optional, but I think it rather adds to the scene. Alright, so the next thing is, and in fact let's go ahead and select this, is our video. So let's scrub through here. Right about there, and let's edit our video of the clouds. Same premise, we're just going to go ahead and do some a little bit quicker editing here since you guys should hopefully understand uh, the basics of it. So let's do a little bit of saturation. I think that's actually going to be bright enough. We'll handle that in the gamma. Uh, the contrast, I think, is going to be a bit high. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there we go. Plot some of the detail in the clouds. Um, you know, with a shot like this, it's all white and blue and kind of molds together. So we want to kind of bring out some of the shadows and some of the individual clouds. And then let's go ahead and turn the gamma down. Now gamma, if I turn it up, you guys can see here it kind of, well, whitens it. it gam gamma is not quite as easy to, it's not quite like brightness. Uh, I'm actually having a hard time explaining it, but hopefully you guys can kind of tell the effect it's having. Uh, that actually looks really good right there. Yeah, I think that's about perfect. As you guys can see here, again, I will reset all this. And show you show you what it looked like before, and then after. So, wait for my computer to catch up here. So this is what it looked like before, and after some video editing, it looks a lot better. We can still see the blues. Uh, it still looks much much better. And of course, I also did do a time lapse on this. So as you guys can see here, uh, compared to the uh, beginning shot that I did, it was kind of slow. Obviously, I did about two minutes of video. I sped it up to about 10, 
12 seconds or so so I, I sped up quite a bit so you can see the kind of the clouds forming same goes for the first shot uh, you know I just I didn't do any time lapse but I did do of course the color correction and did the overlay to make it look a little bit more cinematic anyway guys that's about it for my video showing you how to make your videos pop more now this is certainly by no means a comprehensive guide there's a lot more you can do with color correction and there's other little tips and tricks that you can do uh, but this is what I like to do when I want to make my videos look a little bit better add more color contrast you name it kinda help them pop 